Use an approved calibrated partial immersion thermometer suitable to ASTM 133C at a depth specified for that thermometer close to the RTD of the BBR. Allow the thermometer to remain in the fluid for a minimum of two minutes to allow the temperature to stabilize. When the temperature stabilizes, note the temperature reading to the nearest tenth of a degree, record this reading, and press finish. Remove all beams from the supports. Adjust the zero regulator to fully raise the loading nose. Place the step disc in the zero position. Lower the shaft using the zero regulator until the pin touches the surface of the zero position. Place 100 grams on the weight pan. Wait five seconds, press next. Manually lift loading shaft and rotate step disc to A. Wait five seconds, press next. Manually lift loading shaft and rotate step disc to B. Wait five seconds, press next. Manually lift loading shaft and rotate step disc to C. Wait five seconds, Press next. Manually lift loading shaft and rotate step disc to D. Wait five seconds. Press next. Take note of the calibration constant. Press finish. Place the non-compliant beam on the sample supports. Adjust the zero regulator to lower the load shaft to the zero position. Press tear. Apply a 20 plus or minus 10 millinewton load on the beam. Press next. Place weight A on the weight pan. Wait five seconds. Press next. Place weight B on weight A. Wait five seconds. Press next. Place weight C on weight B. Wait five seconds. Press next. Place weight D on weight C. Wait five seconds. Press next. Take note of the calibration constant. Press finish. Place the non-compliant beam on the sample supports. Adjust the zero regulator to lower the load shaft to the zero position. Press tear. Apply a 20 plus or minus 10 millinewton load on the beam. Press next. Place weight A on the weight pan. Wait five seconds. Press next. Place weight B on weight A. Wait five seconds. Press next. Place weight C on weight B. Wait five seconds. Press next. Place weight D on weight C. Wait five seconds. Press next. Take note of the calibration constant. Press finish. Place the confidence beam on the sample supports. Adjust the zero regulator to lower the load shaft to the zero position. Apply a 35 plus or minus 5 millinewton load to the beam. Observe the reading of the LVDT. Gently raise the shaft approximately 5 millimeters. Release the shaft. It should smoothly float downwards and contact the beam. Raise the loading shaft with the zero regulator. Remove the confidence beam from the sample supports. Adjust the zero regulator so that the load shaft is free floating at the approximate midpoint. Place the two gram mass on the weight pan. The shaft should slowly drop down under this mass. Mark verification complete if observations are satisfactory. Press next. Raise the loading shaft with the zero regulator. Place the step disc in the zero position. 
Lower the shaft using the zero regulator until the pin touches the surface of the zero position. Place 100 gram weight on the weight pan. Compare the measured displacement to the known step disc location. Repeat for each step disc location. Dimensions should be within plus or minus 0.005 millimeters. Mark verification complete if observations are satisfactory. Press next. Place the non-compliant beam on the sample supports. Adjust the zero regulator to lower the load shaft to the zero position. Press tear. Apply a 20 plus or minus 10 millinewton load to the beam. Place a two gram mass on the weight pan. The load indicator should increase by 20 plus or minus five millinewtons. Place an additional two gram mass on the weight pan. The load indicator should again increase by 20 plus or minus five millinewtons. If the load indicator is not increasing, then standardization is required. Remove the two gram masses. Place 100 grams on the weight pan. The load should increase by 981 plus or minus five millinewtons. Mark verification complete if observations are satisfactory. Press next. Place the confidence beam on the sample supports. Adjust the zero regulator to lower the load shaft to the zero position. Press tear. Place 100 grams on the weight pan. Wait five seconds. Press record. Place total 200 grams on the weight pan. Wait five seconds. Press record. The modulus reported shall be within 10% of the confidence beam. Otherwise, contact ATS. Mark verification complete if observations are satisfactory. Press next. Place a calibrated thermometer in the bath close to the RTD. Compare the system temperature with the calibrated thermometer. Temperature must be within plus or minus 0.1 degrees C. Mark verification complete if observations are satisfactory. Press next. Cut a strip of white paper about 25 millimeters in length and slightly narrower than the width of the confidence beam. Stick the paper to the center of the compliance beam. Remove the load frame from the bath. Place the compliance beam on the sample supports. Place a piece of carbon paper over the white paper that is stuck on the compliance beam. Lower the loading shaft to make an imprint from the carbon paper onto the white paper. With vernier calipers, measure the distance from the center of the imprint to the edges of the non-compliant beam. The difference between the two measurements shall be less than 1.0 millimeters. If not, contact ATS. Mark verification complete if observations are satisfactory. Press finish.